So in today's video, I'm gonna share with you two strategies to creating content more rapidly than just about anyone else that you're competing against. Let's get into it. So what are these two strategies? Before I get into that, let me first tell you how I discovered them. So a number of years ago, I decided that I wanted to have a daily video series. Now, up until that point, I had been writing emails every single day and I'd been sending out my emails. At that point, they were going to several hundred thousand people every single day and I never missed a day. But I decided instead of just emails, I also want to do video. So I thought, okay, I'm going to launch a daily video series. So before I could think about my long-term strategy and how I was going to manage it with my travel schedule, I just announced it to my audience. I said, subscribe here and you'll get daily videos. So then I go and film my first episode. Now, at that point, I had a little film studio. This was in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. So I go there, I have a big TV screen on, on one side and I, I have my topic and my topic was something about marketing. I was teaching marketing back then. And so I just speak freely, I make it up as I go along and that episode went for about 10 minutes. So I thought, great, that's my first episode. The next day I did the same thing. And I did that for the first five or so days. And then I had to take a trip to Bali. So I fly to Bali, I bring my camera guy with me because we're shooting a promo video for an upcoming event that I'm doing there. And I get there late at night, we check into the hotel, we're both very tired, but we think, well I think, I've got to record today's episode. So we go and record it. And as I'm recording it, I think to myself, how am I possibly going to continue to do this long term? With my schedule, this is just not sustainable. So I thought I've got to find a way to come up with topics faster because I was really struggling. So I had the idea, why don't I just ask my audience? And that's exactly what I did. I sent out an email to my audience and I posted on social media and I said, what questions do you have for me that you would like me to talk about in my videos? And before I knew it, I had 10 questions. I had 10 questions, 10 different topics that I could talk about. So that's the secret number one. And I know that doesn't sound that special, just asking your audience for ideas, but it takes the burden off of your shoulders. You no longer have to think of, uh, what am I gonna talk about today? You ask your audience. And in addition to that, this is the content that they actually want to hear about. They're giving you the topics that they want you to talk more about. So your content is always on point. So that's secret number one, ask your audience. So secret number two is rather than creating your content every single day and then releasing it the same day, create it in batches. In other words, you take the time to create several episodes. I like to do an entire week first and then that way you get it all out of the way and the rest of the week you've got free and you can just release daily. So doing it this way accomplishes several things. Number one, when, when you get in front of the camera like I am right now, often, I don't know about you, but for me, it takes a while to kind of get warmed up and get in that mode. I find that once I've done the first few episodes, then I start to flow. I can speak easier, speak off the cuff, and it just comes out. So when you batch content, all together, you create better quality content. If you're just trying to do a new episode every single day, then you don't get a chance to warm up. And number two is, when you can batch it in one go, not only can you get the entire week's episodes done, but you can possibly do more. And I'll give you an example. So right now I'm in Costa Rica, I'm at this resort, Sunset Del Mar Beach Resort, Estrias Este. We got the ocean out here, we got the resort over here. And this place brings back a lot of memories for me, for me because we used to do back-to-back -back events here. And at our most uh, expensive and longest event, it would go for 10 full days. So we, we would have all these people come in from overseas. And one of the activities that we would do is we would go on a sunset cruise in Capos, which is a nearby town and port. So we'd take everyone there, we'd get on this big catamaran boat and the whole thing would go for about three hours. And I would bring two camera people and we would have each guest, each attendee, they would come into the scene with me 
and they would ask me a question and I would answer them on camera and that would become the episode. And so we would do one of these events every few months. And my goal with that afternoon being on the boat was to create as many episodes as possible. And ideally, I wouldn't have to think about making videos for the entire month. And I think my record was somewhere around 30 episodes in one afternoon. So I would be exhausted by the end of it, but I really just, I wouldn't have to worry about creating daily episodes anymore. All of that work was done. So you've got to find a way that you can do this for yourself. So if you can leverage your audience, get questions from your audience, solicit those questions in the comments, do a post on social media, send out an email. And then if you can do a batch creation where you sit down and you just crank them out one after the other, you'll find that releasing daily content, it's easier, it's more enjoyable, and it frees up your time to focus on other things. So I hope those two strategies help you a lot. They help me a lot. And if you like this kind of content, make sure you subscribe. Okay, thanks a lot, and I'll see you tomorrow.